All right, welcome everyone to another episode in Planet Zoo. And in today's episode, we're going to go ahead and use this little area right here and go ahead and build a, a little uh, exhibit, indoor exhibit area for some of our amphibians. So let's go ahead and start working on this. Let's go ahead and we're going to start with just getting some exhibits in here first and see if we can get them lined up really well. So let's go ahead and put one, two, and three exhibits in, and now let's deal with our pathing. I'm gonna wanna have the path come in. Let's go ahead and try to align this to the grid right here. And right there, okay, let's get rid of that one and that one. And then we're gonna come straight out, yep. And then we're going to have to line that up as best we can. There we go. We have lined it up as best we could. Now let's go ahead and look at, we have an animal alert and one of our antelopes is having some stress problems. Let's go ahead and send her to the trading center. Yep, get her out of here for now. And now it's raining. Very nice. Okay, so let's look at what kind of amphibians we can get in here. And animal trading, I'm sorry, exhibit trading. An Amazon giant centipede. There's only one. Yeah, there's only one. A Brazilian, an Eastern brown, a giant a forest scorpion. A giant tiger snail, a gila monster, a golden poison frog, a goliath beetle. There's our bird eaters. A goliath frog, a green iguana. Let's get some green iguanas. All right, let's see. A listing expired, huh? Okay, well, we only have one male out there, so let's go ahead and adopt him. And then let's look and see what kind of females we can get. Oh, wow, look at that one. Really nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, yes, go ahead. Let's go ahead and send them in here. And um, hold on in one second. We need to get a couple things going here. We need to get our staff doing some research on them. Here we go. Yes, get going on that. And then also um, in here, let's go ahead and send him into here too. And these guys, these guys can all quick trade. Get back some of that money that we just spent. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. We're going to go ahead and look at their temperature first. It needs to be a little warmer for them. And the humidity is a little high, so let's just lower it just a tad. Okay. Now, we need to also add these uh, three exhibits to our staffing areas. So let's go ahead and go into the work area. And I'm going to add them to work zone one right now. Okay, thank you, add those. Very nice, okay. This right here, this little exhibit is empty now. Yep. So let's go ahead and look. I wanna keep it with North America and South America. So let's look at our Zoopedia. This Amazon giant uh, centipede looks really interesting. It is South America. Let's go ahead. And look at that again. I want that Amazon. No, go the other way, please. He's gone. Wow, look at you guys. All right, send you to the zoo. We're going to put you there. And then we're going to go ahead and get our, where did they go? And now we need a female in here. Yeah, I'm gonna adopt you right there. 
All right, we'll put you guys all back in there. Now you, I can go ahead and set up your habitat. Let's go ahead and look at this first. It needed to be a tad warmer. That's a tad warmer, not a lot. And um, your scenery. Um, wait, what do I have in here? Oh, Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. Oh, I thought I was getting my... Uh, Okay, so let's go ahead and get our staff researching that one, too. Okay. And then let's put in our Goliath bird eaters back in here. So back to trading. And where's our Goliath bird eater? Please. I want this. Goliath bird eater. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get you. Yep. And the other one. Need a female. Yeah, you're good. Okay, you now, I should be able to set up this one temperature you need to be a little bit warmer and humidity's good and your layout this one I can do because we've already experienced All right. and a tropical plant Ooh, I like that one that looks good all right now let's look at their windows I want that back window uh, to be 3d nope wrong one Not. okay and window two 3D, yep, okay, and window uh, 3, uh, 3D, perfect, okay, now on this one, I want window 2 to be 3D, and on this one, I want window 1 to be 3D, and window 2 to be 3D, okay, looks good. All right, let's go ahead and get our education into because people will start coming over here to look at these guys. And before I have the interior, before I have the actual building built. So let's go ahead and just make sure we've got education in over here. And then also let's get these guys. Uh, I'm not sure. So these guys are the Goliath bird eaters, right? Yeah. Goliath bird eater and let's go ahead and set this one up for the Goliath bird eater and then let's move it Okay, it's huge. So we're gonna have to go ahead and put it I'm Gonna have to put it as far over as possible. Let's go ahead and sink it into the ground All right now this one is our green iguanas so let's go ahead and change that to green iguana and get it a speaker and hopefully it will not overlap green iguana all right and then range let's go ahead and lower the range there you go uh, a little too much maybe one more tick uh, that's good let's just go ahead and Move it and put that in right there. Okay, and then um, let's go ahead and get this one in. And these guys are Brazilian salmon pink tarantulas. Brazilian salmon pink tarantulas, okay? Okay, and then let's go ahead and move this. We need to change its range and change its range. No, right there. That should be good. All right, perfect. All right, now I got some stressed out animals. What are they? They're all in here. Okay, except for Juan. Juan, you are stressed out again. 
let's go ahead and check you out. And in the meantime, hopefully that will allow Juan. You gonna be okay? Yep, you're gonna be okay. See how our pronghorn's doing. Oh, she's still in her box. So hopefully that will straighten her out. Chill, just take a chill pill. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at our green iguanas. Both of our green iguanas are really stressed. So let's go ahead and find out what's wrong with them. Okay, I need to stop for a second. What is wrong with you? Your temperature's okay, right? Uh, you could stand it to be just a tad warmer and your humidity's a little high. So let's go ahead and lower it just a tad. Okay. And start that up again. Okay, there you are, you're a lot better. Okay, now let's look at your temp again. Just, okay, it could be just a tad. I think right there. And your humidity could be a tad lower even. Okay, so now let's take a look at you guys. Okay, it's just your layout now. Your temperature still isn't perfect. Temperature and humidity still isn't right. Temperature should be just a tad higher. And humidity should be a tad lower. Just a tad lower. And let's take a look at you guys with your temperature and humidity. You're perfect almost. Yeah, your temp is wrong. Your temp needs to be a little higher. Let's go ahead and try that. Temperature should be a little bit higher. Yep, a little bit higher. Temp should be just a tad higher. Okay, we're just gonna go a little higher. 23. All right, you guys like that. All right, good. All right. Um, now, over here on you, your it's just your layout. Your temp could be better and your humidity could be a little bit better. Let's go ahead and raise you up one degree. Okay, we'll do two degrees. And humidity needs to go down just a tad. No, a little too much. Uh, go back to 59. Thank you. Now, let's take a look. Perfect. And this one right here, your temperature needs to be changed just a tad. Let's go a little, just 24. Okay, and let's see if that made a huge difference. Okay, perfect, so now we're just dealing with layouts. So we just need to let, uh, it's got temperatures. Still got this wrong. I don't know why that's still showing up. It's this layout. Okay. Perfect, now let's go ahead and build the exterior. Uh, has eaten gas food. Uh-oh, our bear ate the gas food. Let's go ahead and call the vet. See if we can get the vet to take care of her. Oh, and she's gonna have a baby. I missed that, offspring due. June of year 74. Is our money still going up? Yeah, uh, yeah, it is, okay. The green iguana is a large species of lizard that lives throughout Central America, Northern South America, and the Caribbean. It has a long tail with a serrated crest that goes from its head to the base of its spine, as well as muscular legs with long toes and claws. They might also have striations on their tails and body. Although named green iguanas, they occur in many colors, commonly green, blue, brown, and orange. And these different color morphs often depend on their location of origin. Whatever the color, the green iguana can reach 6.6 .6 feet in length, including the tail, and males are larger than females, weighing an average of 8.8 .8 pounds compared to 4.4 pounds.
The Brazilian salmon pink tarantula is a large species of spider exclusively to the Arctic forest area of East Brazil. They are black in color with pink or red hairs on their legs and abdomen. When looking at as a whole, the males are slightly larger than females with a leg span that can reach 11.2 inches. But females are heavier with a large abdomen. Males also often have brighter coloration than females. Okay, well I believe that this little area is all fine and dandy. And we have done a little bit of research. So let's go ahead and see if we can do a little bit of layout. We could do a leaf, a litter A, or a leaf litter B. Oh, we can put all these in here. Let's just do all of them. And over here, we can put in the layout. We can put in a long, wide trunk. <laughs> a, a thin, smooth branch and a, a thin, long log. And none of else is done in there. These right here are our iguanas. And I'm trying to see if I can see them. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Wow, aren't they beautiful? They are so pretty. Boy, they really blend in with their environment and over here we have our goliath bird eaters which we have explored before but where are they really quick oh i see it one of them's in that log right there right there uh-huh and then over here these are our brazilian salmon pink tarantulas oh not super keen on a tarantula, but uh, where are they? Hmm. And they're still saying that their temperature is not correct. But I don't see where I could do, maybe just a tad warmer? Let's try 28. See if that makes them happy. But if you go over here, they are saying that their exhibit, their temperature is 100%, so they seem to be okay. Uh, where are they, though? Oh, I see one of them. He's way over here. Hey, there's, they're just kind of little tiny things, aren't they? I thought they would be a little bit bigger. Let's see if we get back on the thing, if we find the other one. She's more out in the front here. Where are you? You're highlighted, but I don't... Oh, there she is. She's over here. Right there. They're tiny little things. I hope that they will let you have a lot more in there. And then I hope that you guys all enjoyed the outside. Just did a little bit of decorating. And then we also did a cover for our uh, timber wolves over here. And so everybody will be a little bit happier over here and another thing i did was this bridge that i had going all the way across this enclosure i just kind of stopped it and went only out to here and it gives our uh dahlia sheep a little bit more privacy now the only other problem that i'm currently having is that my tortoises right now they're doing okay but right now, these tortoises just keep getting extremely stressed out. And I don't know if it's because there's too many people in here. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Now, if you get on this gate, there is no way to edit the gate to say only let in so many people. So I'm not quite sure. But everybody seems to be a lot happier over here. And I believe... Our grizzlies, okay, <laughs> uh, I believe our grizzly bears had a little one. I believe, yeah, they did. So we have another little baby grizzly, a little baby boy. Let's look at his genetics. Getting up there. I mean, look what we have to work with, though. Uh, she's really good. 
He's probably not so good. Yeah, look at how bad his genetics are. So there we go. Uh, he's doing really well, though. What is it that you want? Your nutrition. You're saying your nutrition is not not as good. What do we have there feeding at? I believe we have to go to the habitat. And then we go to the animals. It's at two. It should be fine that these guys, yeah, they had some babies. And are they happy with this many people? I don't know anything about them, the layout. Oh, they're fine with the social group. Perfect. And there's only two of them in here, right? Yeah, they're fine. And these guys, they only want two. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these two out of here. That'll make those guys much happier. All right, and we've got another alert. I believe you're in the Trade Center, yeah. So let's go ahead and go over and get you back into your habitat, but I hope that by doing this, go over there, thank you. All right, put him in there. And hopefully you guys will get a little less stressed out. Okay, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. We got some more vet research completed. I will continue to make sure that these guys all get everything that they want. Our giant uh, tortoises are now fully researched. You guys all take care, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you all next time. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment.